Hey, family. Thank you for coming by the day of Chanel's 40th world featuring the family affair. Let's talk. <laughs> Why don't we? Okay. Cha Nini, yes, Nini leaks from the Real Housewives of Atlanta, the OG in house. She thought she could cut her EP, honey. She called it, honey, come get this, honey, baby. I don't know who she wanted to come get it, but I guess maybe Greg. Can we say Greg can come and get the honey and her little person she had out there in Maryland somewhere? I don't know if it was Maryland. Um out there with some guys she's supposed to be dating that works for the federal government or something you know out there that maryland store she opened up child i don't know what nene doing okay but she got a new song called come and get this honey so we shouting her out because i kind of like the tune the beat it's kind of it's kind of slick it's kind of sleek in a sense i mean if kenya moore can come out with twirl 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 or some song she brought out and kim can come out with tardy for the party why the hell nene can't come out with come get this honey okay come get this honey bunny come get this honey trying come get this honey sonny come get it 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 welcome to atlanta where the players play hey y'all remember ludicrous and Jermaine Dupree bought out that song. So Nene said she had to cut her a little rap song and bring y'all to a to Atlanta, the new forming LA. Okay, the Hollywood. We got we call it the baby Hollywood out here, it seems like anyway. Okay, so we're gonna shout Nene out. Y'all go and listen to her little EP. Honey, I'm sure you can um download it or whatever. I'm just looking for the video to come out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Nene, don't you hurt yourself. Girl, you know you ain't no C era. All right. Uh uh. But let's go into an article. A celebrity insider wrote up on her about her newfound single coming out and her trying to promote it here and there, mostly on YouTube. And um some people are getting some hate out for her okay yeah they sure need any hate honey they don't want to see a woman uh og grind in her old time okay i'm like i ain't got nothing against her she want to go out there and, and make a, a, a album or a single and it kind of bumps in the clubs bumps in the trunk bumps in the club bumps in the trunk bump bumps in the club i don't know i'm just over here just bumping to a music beat okay but if you got some people that like it that's gonna uh buy it or whatever Keep it on their shelf to say Nene did that thing or Nene didn't do that thing. Don't do that thing no more. Honey, like I said, she ain't no Sierra. But she's wearing a 15 karat rock like Sierra. I can tell you that. All right. She can't probably move like Sierra or look like Sierra. Because there's only one Sierra. Okay. But anyway, we go on. It's a guy named Nick Marcus. He's over there. Journalist or commentary who uh come when we come up uh not column list i guess you would call him but he's writing a commentary for in celebrity insider and he titled his article nene leaks hater calls her too old for dance challenge check out her response i'm like oh nene finna get into somebody ass right about now how you gonna tell a older seasoned woman what she can and what she cannot do huh Go figure. Why people just won't let people have their opinions? Just like they express their opinions on something that I may have put out on a video or somebody may have wrote. Or, you know, however it is. It's everybody's opinion. We have the right to speak it. Whether the masses fall in love with us and agree wholeheartedly. Or they turn against us and say, no, I don't like that opinion. But just... <sighs> Let people have their opinions is what I'm trying to say. Just let people have their opinions, okay? Just keep it on subject matter, okay? But anyway, going into the article, it says, Nene Leakes is just trying her best to have fun while in quarantine. And what better way to do it, okay? I'm like, Nene, what you doing out there, girl? 
Then you try to cut an album. She ain't trying to waste nothing being in a quarantine. She probably will try to mess around here and there. But by the time that, that music got to having a beat to it and she could remember the lyrics that somebody had wrote down for her, she was enjoying that, honey. But I'm like, Nene, don't don't come out. Tell me she finna go on tour now. We're going to have to talk about that. Let's talk about that. Making one single, enjoying yourself. Maybe to get some play in the clubs. Maybe to get some play in people's cars or they're streaming it and doing exercise to it or whatnot. But let's not get, you know, above ourselves thinking we need to go out on tour. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Nene. Especially when you got your little comedy hosting gig. Don't try to do the rap out there, honey. But if you can, go on and do you, girl. Go on and do you. But anyway, going back to the article. It said, oh, while she was having fun in quarantine, what better way than to... The uh wait a minute. Let me go back. Nene Lee is just trying her best to have fun while in quarantine. And what better way to do it than using social media? The reality star did the honey dance challenge, but amongst the praise she got from fans, she also got some hate from one person who claimed she was too old for an IG dance challenge. And I'm like, hell if they got TikTok out there and they got everybody and their grandma participating in that. Why Nene can't have an IG contest dancing? Okay, because Nene ain't that bad of a dancer. I seen on TikTok, okay? It wasn't but like a little two-step move she was doing. But, you know, she was using them uh, arms and she was using them legs. No problem, okay? No arthritis, okay? Maybe it was the alcohol got her in step. I don't know. But she wasn't like she was hurting up there either when she was doing those dance moves. But going back to the article, it says, of course, Nene had none of it. And she made sure to clap back at that hater. Okay. It all started with Nene in the shade room teaming up to help 10 people struggling because of the pandemic. That being said, yesterday she started her own dance challenge that asked fans to show off their dancing skills to her song, Honey, in exchange for a chance to win no less than $500, okay? Cha-ching! Apparently, 10 participants in the challenge will be randomly awarded the prize money. However, as soon as the Shade Room debuted the challenge, there were both positive and negative reactions. While some were definitely excited, others could not help but throw some shade. Here are a couple of comments from haters. Ain't nobody doing this. Okay. Who told her this was okay? Now, my thoughts to that commenter that said, ain't nobody doing it. No, you probably ain't doing it. But it's a few other people, probably a few other million people are participating, trying to get that 500, okay? That's more f- a positive 500 than what they had showing in their bank account the last time they looked, I'm sure, if they are awarded that money. And then to go on to say, who told her? That this was okay to do? Who are you to tell this person that got money and ain't got nothing but time on their hands what they can and cannot do? Woo! Now that is the true T. Uh, throw it back in her face, Nene. Throw it back uh, in him or her face. Who ever wrote that ridiculous comment? But anyway, going back to the comment, it said, But the comment that really bothered Nene reads, uh, Nene reads that song is so mf annoying and she's too old for this. I'm like, I get so tired. Even that mess come in my comment section. Oh, uh, you too old. Uh, this mf is annoying. My voice is annoying. Hell, I ain't finna listen to nothing that's gonna make my ears hurt or my eyebrows go up in disgust or my whole facial demeanor got to change or whatever. Or f- put a frown where it should be a smile. Ain't no way in the world I'm going to listen to somebody or look at their video or even partake of their channel. But when people sit and do all of those things and still have a nasty attitude, they the one that's messed up inside, y'all. They the one that's messed up because they harming themselves even more just to try to get you straight or what's harming them. The exposure. They want exposure. That's all it is. They want exposure. They think they're doing something by putting it up in your comment section. So, Nene, girl, don't let these people bother you. Don't let them bother you because they keyboard against us all day, all day, all, every, all day, all day long. Okay? Every day, all day. But anyway, going back to the article, it says in response, Nene wrote, Who's too old to make money? Besides, we are supporting those who are out of work. I ain't too old to pay, huh? 
Girl, that reminded me of that song. I ain't too proud to beg. No, I ain't too proud to beg. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. Soon after, she got many more supportive comments from people who really appreciated her decision to give back during this scary and trying time. Fans made sure to defend Nene and agreed with her response to the hater that called her old. As for the song, Honey was released early this month. Even before that, she has been encouraging her followers to dance to the beat. That's right, honey. Dance if you can't do nothing but two-step and slide. That's okay with me. That's all I do anyway. Okay. And I might dip here and there. <laughs> Depending on my hip or my knees will allow me. Okay. That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say, people. My hip and my uh, knees will allow me to do that dip. <laughs> <laughs> like dip baby dip come on dip baby dip. come on now slide now slide now slide now slide you know what i'm saying shoot try please but one thing about young people that they don't realize if they get a chance to live their life to the fullest it's an honor to get old and still be able to think right be in your right mind be able to function with no um what do you call it body aches or anything of that nature it you know some people don't even get over 20 years old some people don't even make it past 10 you see what i'm saying so when somebody call you old or whatever and they think they're being smart that's a blessing to be called old because at least you are old you don't made it at least a half a century you know what i'm saying like i say so i'm doing something right in the lord's eyes so you can call me old you call me fat you call me ugly you call me everything because they, they ain't never names son they ain't never names and since you really don't know me they don't they just bounce off me just like what i could uh, if you threw a ball at me one of them rubber balls that you kind of play when you were playing kickball back in the day that's how i look at stuff like that names don't hurt me but when you touch me that's another whole different scenario and another whole beast of an animal that will come out of me especially if i don't like you okay but that's all i'm saying people be kind be it's better to be kind and be upfront about something be tactful you know what i'm saying just because you don't like something that somebody else like don't give you the right to say that person is wrong you know what i'm saying don't do that that's the most ugliest thing you can do to another person everybody have their opinions Everybody should speak out on what they feel. Just be respectful. That's all I say. Because everybody ain't right and everybody ain't wrong. It's going to be a time when some people are right and some people are wrong. But it just is what it is. When we have that day, we'll have that moment. Okay? But other than that, be blessed. And I will see y'all next video. Okay? And don't forget to subscribe, share, and like the videos. Thank you.